Hello and welcome to the dessert episode of Beer Bros. Today, we let them eat cake. So for our final food of the week, we have cake featuring the Wild Sour series of beers by Destel. And the cake itself is a counterclockwise lemony sort of cake with a raspberry Lindbrook Berliner Wise buttercream frosty. So <clears throat> let's have a taste. I'm gonna do about half and half. Mm. So very good. All the flavors in here. The cake tastes like a lemon cake, except that all the sourness there came from the beer, as well as the slight tartness of the buttercream icing. Yeah, I was gonna say you <clears throat> you balance the sweetness and the tartness very well. I imagine using the beers that you did, it would have been very easy to get away from you. And you could have had probably an overly tart cake, but this is balanced really well. And surprisingly enough, there's one beer each in the cake and the icing. Mm. Because I reduced the beer and got it down to a very concentrated small amount and mm. added it. Interesting. <clears throat> let's uh let's check out how you did that. First, reduce the lemony sour beer or sour beer of your choice by gently boiling it until only a couple of ounces are left. We use Destel's counterclockwise. Cream two thirds of a cup of butter with one and three quarters cups of sugar until the mixture lightens slightly. Add two eggs, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, and one cup of milk. Slowly add three cups of flour. Add two and a half teaspoons of baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt. Add the reduced beer. Mix well and bake in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes or until a toothpick inserted comes out clean. For the frosting, reduce another complimentary sour beer. We use Destel's Lindbrook. Beat one half cup of vegetable shortening, one half cup of butter, and the second reduced beer until fluffy. Slowly add four cups of confectioner's sugar. You may need to add small amounts of milk if the mixture is too dry. Beat the icing until it is fluffy. Frost the cooled cake in the usual way. So, of these three culinary masterpieces, which was your favorite of the week? I'm going to have to go with the beef jargonaut. Oh, okay. Sounds good. However, the cake wasn't too far behind. Well, let us eat it. So with that, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next week for even more beer on Beer Bros. Until then, Beer Bros out. So, of these three culinary masterpieces, which have, so of these three culinary masterpieces, peaches, masterpieces. <laughs> so, of these three culinary masterpieces, <laughs> I'm sorry, that's my fault. <laughs> that's my fault.